It's <laughs> not make it smell. You put a mic. You put. No, it's not like an actual sock. It's like a. It's like a, a pop filter thing, but okay. not a pop filter. It's like the the foam things that go on top. The way you phrased it made it sound like you, you stick a genuine sock over it. No, not like an actual sock. I don't like. I don't go to Next and just buy like a bunch of socks to put over my microphone. I change them every day as well in case they get sweaty. <laughs> Could you imagine? <laughs> could you imagine that? What, just go just being a massive hygiene freak, just like yeah, sorry, I got a sweaty sock on my microphone. It's going to change it. <laughs> what's it what's the, the cheapest yet most quality sock that you can sell me? <laughs> going to Primark. Yeah. <laughs> so fucking stupid, man. So welcome to the podcast. Podcast. I podcast. really like that. It's good. I think it's a good name. Yeah. I mean, it, it, I think it explains exactly what we're trying to do. It's top to bottom. Drink it, and it, talk it shit. We, yeah, there's Just no... Just chat absolute shit. There's no messing about. The, no, honestly, there's not. Here's what it is. Yeah. Put your phone away, you dick. Here's a way. I just, I just looked Which around. Here's a way. Here's a way. I just looked around. It's this way. I'm just looking at what's over in your corner of the room. Is Actually, that... I haven't been in here in a while. There's a lot of... Alright, first of all, there's a Millennium Falcon in there. A Lego Millennium Falcon, let's not fuck around. I'd rate it. You know what that my appendix is done? Yeah. That, me and Seamus built that. Did you actually? Yeah, he come down, he come around like every night after work. He stops at Fanbridge, rather than Awful. Mm. Oh, that's a big burp. Oh, fuck me. Um, well then. Yeah, he stops at Fanbridge rather than Awful, and we just built a Millennium Falcon. Yeah. It took like a week. Second of all, there's a lot of mind. Mm. Um, yes, charity tins. Charity tins. Yeah, on the on the weekends you've I like to go in. out. <laughs> I've weighed them. <laughs> you've, you've not cashed it. On the weekends I like to go out and pretend that I work for a charity and then um, just rob people. <laughs> <laughs> Give us your money now. Give please. us your money. It's for charity, I promise. No, it's um, basically from the charity do. There wasn't enough money raised to be worth me sending them off if that makes sense Don't so it honestly go and, mate go and pick one up no like in the tins go and pick one up they're next to empty they're pretty empty we didn't do yeah. very well with the last one did we no we didn't there was, there was a lack of planning Seamus has become a ghost recently it's weird isn't it it's full on alright so Seamus put me onto an anime called Attack on Titan so good you've watched it so good I'm going to tell you about the other one, Death Note. Have Death Note, it? right. I haven't seen it, but... Oh, I've seen it, but I haven't watched oh, it. Oh, Charlie, it's... It's incredible. Really? It's incredible. If it wasn't an anime, if it was an acted show, it would be one of the best. Do you think so? One of the best. But I've been trying to find a good one for a while, but like... Death Note is the one. I've watched like Cowboy Bebop. I've not seen that. Is that good? You know what's annoying is, and it sounds quite quite snobby, but it would be good if it wasn't filmed in 1998. Like, because it's, like you're watching it and it's like, you know, you know when it's an old show and it's on like a small screen, it can't fit to a wide screen. Admittedly, that TV's massive, mm. like so it doesn't help. But, but I get you. they do it in like the not. What is it, like a 4.3 or whatever it's called? I can't remember what it's called. Oh, shit. Yeah, but yeah. it's like they do it on a smaller screen and stuff, and it's just like, it's a lower quality, and yeah. it sounds proper like film snobby, which yeah, I'm I, not, because I don't know anything about but, filmography, videography, any of that. But box, I get but you, because from a, like, from a purely just, viewing it aesthetic... Yeah, literally from an aesthetic standing, it's You not, just, you want it to be good, but... Yeah, it, I feel like it could be a really, really good show if it was modernised. Mm. And at the time, I feel like it was a really, really good show. It's like Dragon Ball Z. If you watch Dragon Ball Z episodes now, you're just like... It's it's poor quality. It's good it's story. Good. good content. Poor quality. Mm. It's the same with Cowboy Bebop. Thing. But, like, Death Note is... It's good quality. It's not a very action... It's Well, not at all. It's not an action anime. There's not, like... Mad fighting. There's no fighting. It's... It's all kind of, I wouldn't say psychological, but, it's, but it's, it's very much like... It's a thinker. It's essentially one genius against another, and they're trying to figure each other out. 
and they're trying to best each it's other. Like but they Sherlock. both they both know who each other yeah, exactly is is that. Sherlock they know who each other are. His fucking name is the retard. Uh, that fucking retard. That fucking retard that's really in clever really in clever. Moriarty? <laughs> Moriarty Yeah. That's the boy. They that's know the who ticket. each other are, but they can't put a finger on it. They can't say for definite that's yeah. that person. They will like walk past so them in the street and they're like Ooh, No, not on that level. On the level of literally they interact with each other. Oh really? Full on. Full on. But they don't know who's who. They know, but they can't it's one of them's a detective and the other one is the person writing the Yeah, just code. shoot them. So it's literally like just shoot him straight I up. know who you are, but I can't confirm who you are. But I'm gonna so shoot you. So they're trying to work way. around each other. It's a it's a cat and mouse game. I like that. It's a dance. I like a bit of cat and mouse. It's it's incredible. It's very very good, and I was hooked. Really, like hooked. Well, I might have to and watch I've, it. Then. I've been saying to Seamus to watch it. I said to him to watch it about a month ago. Didn't reply to my message, That's and fun. I messaged him yesterday saying it's been a, exactly a month, which it had. And uh, he said I haven't watched it, and I messaged him this morning when I woke up for work. Uh, Five in the morning. I've got to be in for quarter past six, so I was like, oh, I fancy a bit of a sleep. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I fancy just not being uh, awake. I fancy resting. <laughs> and um, so, yeah, I messaged him then, and he replied to me saying, no, I haven't watched it yet. And when I finished work, I messaged him again, have you have you watched it? And he said, I've got Blythe round. Oh. Oh, okay. That's probably a bit that you're going to have to cut out. That's a... Uh, no, I'm leaving that one in. Fair play. Fuck him. Yeah, no, honestly. Gave you the old cold old shoulder. I was a little bit like, I've said this to you a month ago, and then I'll show you his reply, actually, because I haven't opened it yet. Um, so he said to me... He's been hanging out with Blythe a lot recently, hasn't he? That's why he's been a bit of a ghost. Because he's not about. So I said, I originally... Monday 25th of September. Wow. Watch Death Note. Watch it. Will after dinner. You better. Tuesday the 26th of September. Did Fuck you me, watch that it? was a long dinner. No response. Yesterday, the 26th of October. Wow. <laughs> Did you watch it? That it's been a month. Sorry. Sorry. I've had a long dinner. And here we go. Do you reckon you had a gut buster? He had a gut buster. He had a gut buster for dinner. Four four sausages, four rashes of bacon, four fried slices bread. of fried bread, a whole tin of beans. Yeah, what you got in your two eggs. Whoa, that's, that's a, lot. a lot. No, it's not. I don't have eggs. How much is a lot? Well, I have three eggs. Like if if I'm having <laughs> if three I'm, eggs. Yeah, man. If I'm having breakfast like on site, I have three. Um, I'll have three poached eggs on toast with beans. That's breakfast. Yeah, but like the eggs is the main bit in that. Whereas if yeah, I feel if, if I was, you had a if I was gonna have a fry, the main I'll, bit would be the sausage and the bacon. Yeah, but if I was, if I was yeah, you know, you're right. But if I was gonna have a fry up or something, I'd have two eggs as standard. I might have one sausage and like two bits of bacon. That's where we differ. See, I, I wouldn't have like seven sausages and like six bits of bacon. You know, I'd up the eggs. I'd up the beans, I'd up the mushrooms, I'd up the auxiliary bits of food. I think that's mad. What are you putting faces for? Uh, There's a, a strong bit towards the end. <laughs> <laughs> that vodka was. Twice the podcast. What was that, that, what was that vodka? It was like. Absolute. It was the melon flavor. vodka. Melon? No, it was raspberry, but um, it, it I was gonna say, it had tasted bits of a, melon a berry. It. Yeah, it probably had bits of melon in it, because it was the melon vodka that we stuck in the water vodka melon it thing. It tasted nice. So, um, I just had a really little fart. Okay. And do you ever have them? Like, you have a little, just a little. A little pucker. Like, nothing major, just a little. And it stinks fucking horrifically. <laughs> yeah, I should have one of those in the toilet. Um, you know the ones where you can fit, like, I know what causes a, uh, a bad smelling fart. It's, it's, when, you have a, it's when you have a shit. Yes, yeah, the Ooh. poo. Yeah. It's not the you fart. never would have guessed it. It's not the fart that smells. It's the fart's just a bit there. Yeah, I had, I had a really big poo at work today. Yeah, really big. Oh, you use like a public fucking Audi toilet. Well, it's not a public one. It's a staff one that we let the customers use only if they ask. Do you have a cleaner? Yeah. All oh, right, that's not too bad then. 
Yeah, we have. We have. Oh, imagine being a cleaner and at Audi. They're, they're like not the really, lowest they're of not the really low. Cool. Well, Audi's top quality. Well, it's not, is it? It is. To be fair, it actually is really good quality. Uh, buy Audi. The price is. If cheap. you're listening now, quality, buy Audi. Buy Audi. <laughs> like Just nodding at the microphone. Like, like Audi, tell Audi. <laughs> Tell Audi, tell Audi.com. I got told off today because I didn't do any of the Tell Audi stuff. What? We're meant to, if there's a customer that we think we get a good vibe from, we're meant to say, oh, by the way, at the bottom of the receipt, there's a, a, a website link to like Audi, tell Audi. Oh, mate. Um, so we'd love you to go on there. Basically, you didn't plug Audi at work. Yeah, so I, I finished work and manager said, oh, where's your sheet? How many have you got? And I said to her, none. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Stevie said, Deputy Manager I Joe. Said, I've, I've been on till for six hours today and I've not got any. <laughs> oh, my God. And she said, are you in tomorrow? I said, yeah. I said, you need to get You sick. better fucking fill your sheet. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Just say it to every single customer. But you want, like, you should come to Audi. And I know you say you would spend a lot of money. We've not got as much of the stuff that we had before. Good. That's There's what no different. chainsaws. There's no um, a fucking angle grinders. There's no... We had a... Dis- uh, I think it's literally called a destroyer or something along those <laughs> destroyer. lines. Destroyer? One of those things... Just a big You know dildo. where it's like you hold on to it and it just pumps. Like So it's got a, uh, a drill head and it just goes boom, 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 boom. Like a breaker or something. It's called a destroyer. It's essentially the same thing: breaker, destroyer. That <laughs> we've got, we had that, we sold that. I sold one, mate. Like um, we sell them. Like in the films, we're always like, oh, a jackhammer. Yeah, that one of them. And you're like, it's something that it's something that you'd get in Dead Rising as like a final. Fun. You win it from a boss battle. Yeah, you can't change weapons to it. It's like you have that or you yeah. drop it. We had that. We sold them. Not much. Less than a hundred quid. Who I'm needs them? People. Like who? Who the fuck wakes up in the morning and goes, you know what I need? Something to smash down a brick wall. People who shop at Aldi. Something to destroy concrete. That's what I need to. The people, the kind of people who buy chainsaws, they buy work trousers. Chainsaws, useful. Angle grinders. Useful, useful if you've got loads of metal. Destroyer if you've got a lot of concrete. Destroyer, you don't have a use for destroyer. You got a lot of concrete, you gotta get rid of it. No, I'm sorry mate, but the, dis- the destroyer has next to no use. We've got a lot of stuff. We, we probably we... do, but not fucking the destroyer. There's no use for it. There's some. I mean do you wanna know what else we got? What Go else on. we got on sale? Go on. We got toys. Like what? Uh prams. That's not a toy, is it? No, it's That's just something you put a kid in and you're like, shut the fuck up. It's counting as a toy. Wow. Toy wooden pram. Oh, 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 it's like a pram for kids. Mm. Oh, okay, I'll take that. We got. It's not a pram that you'd put your kid in, it's a pram you'd give your kid to put other kids in. You would never, because it's pure wood. (laughs) Splinters everywhere. Splinters. Just not even close to being safe for child. (laughs) No cushion. Wood. Well, that's the thing. No cushion. No there's, no, cushion. there's no cushions in it. There's oh. no plush. It's just, it's You're going to enjoy yourself. It's straight up timber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what else have we got? We got fucking uh, rocking horses. Oh, nice. Splinters. <laughs> um, <laughs> Audi sponsors splinters. Splinters. Or splinters sponsors. Oh, fuck. I'm trying to say that. So splinters Splint- sponsors Audi. Splinters sponsors Audi. Splinters sponsors Audi. Yeah. Talking about um, Audi the shop, not Audi the cars. They sponsor both. Because Audi the car sponsors like incredible emissions. Audi the car. And Al- is okay, Audi the but shop, Audi the shop is one, Audi the shop is one of the best in the UK. Oh, without a doubt. I do like Audi. I really do. You, you come in there and honestly, I think there's a reason you've not come in to see me at work yet. Well, there's and two it's because reasons. you know that you'll spend... A lot. There's two reasons, genuinely. One, I second? don't actually know where it is. And That's fair enough. <laughs> and, That's uh, fair enough. I mean, it's a pretty good reason. And two, I will spend so much money, because I always do. It's like Lidl. If I go, like, there's a new Lidl open up down the road. Mm. If I go in Lidl, Where's I just want to buy road? everything. Down the road there or down the road London? Down the road up there. Down the road. Down the road up there. Down the road Morton Town. Morton? Yeah, Morton. That's been there for a while. 
Yeah, I know. But we've just started shopping now. Come out Aldi. Spend a little. Trust. Live a lot. You will, you Wait, will save Aldi? more. No, that's Asda. Is that Asda? Spend a little, live a lot. Yeah. What's Aldi? Live, Aldi, it's Spend Aldi don't, nothing. Don't. Aldi don't do adverts. And you'll know why. Because we don't need to. We're our own brand. That's the genuine reason. Don't need to. Why would we advertise something? People come to us, and once they come to us, that's it. If you build it, they will come. It's genuinely that. We built it. They they're going to come. I told Ross Everywhere. that there's a new one opening literally down the road from him. He'll never go anywhere else. Trust. True. It's what it is. Once you learn that name brand isn't isn't all that. It's, it's an eye-opener. It is an eye-opener. It changes opener. the game. Well, the only reason I buy hula hoops is because they got hula hoop puffs. <laughs> if Aldi did hula hoop puffs, but their own brand, I'm there. <laughs> Aldi's own brand hula hoops. Uh, they they, do, they, they do, do, do they aren't. It will not be Aldi's own brand hula hoops, though, will it? It'll be Aldi's own brand hoops that are circle-shaped. No, honestly, the names that they call their products, which are obvious rip-offs. It's incredible. So Mars, their rip-off is Titan. Nice. The moon right. from Saturn. Yeah, well, I know because I'm a spacey kind of guy. You're that kind of dude. Not everyone is though, so it's a it's a moon. I like a lot of moon shit. Speak old oh, moon actually, shit as in I've the got, moon. I've got a very good as in Luna or as are in we talking about Luna Lovejoy from uh, Lovegood from Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Luna I like Lo- her. He is Luna Lovegood, isn't it? Luna Lovegood. Yeah. Luna, Luna Lovegood. Luna, Luna, Luna. How drunk are you? A little bit. I've had a little bit a of a wind. lot of beer. A little bit of a lot of and. Spirit and this isn't this ideal. Is, it's a bad pour. This is um, this is vodka, Southern Comfort, and Coke. I didn't. You finish, put some Southern Comfort in there. I didn't finish the vodka, and I th- there was a little bit of vodka left. I was like, "Oh, Joe's probably going to want that," so I just smashed a bottle of uh, Southern Comfort in there. Fair play. There, there was a lot left in the bottle, and I filled it up to halfway. I so appreciate that, and I appreciate you. And there was about that much left, and I went boom, big. Just went at it. Um, I wonder why it tasted strong. Yeah, this is uh, this is alcoholic. So, um, what I was going to say, there is a game out at the moment called yeah. the Turing Test. Have you played it? Has this got something to do with the man, the myth, the legend, Alan Turing? It has, slightly. Who ate an apple and died. The yeah. only man to ever die of vitamins. <laughs> did he actually apparently. eat an apple and die? Yeah, that's how he died. The, the apple was laced with cyanide. Oh, so he killed himself. He was a big gay, weren't he? So he, he, got, he got locked up for being a big gay. Yeah, at the time. Which is actually a disgusting part of um, our history in the UK. Because we have, we have quite a... Um, and it's why I wasn't acknowledged for a while. Exactly. And the thing is, we have quite a progressive culture, I feel. But that's pretty backwards. What is? The fact that he he was... Oh, he was banged up because he, he was banging men. Yeah, he was... He was yeah, no, agree. Intimate relations. He was fucking dumb. Like, the, the man invented a machine that he invented basically... Invented the first computer. Yeah, he did. Essentially, yeah. yeah. And then the Turing, basically the, the Turing test for those who don't know, such as myself, and I'm going to explain it anyway. But you do know. But I do know because I'm explaining it. Mindfuck. You Dumb. learn history, you know this shit. Yeah. Uh, cool. Turing test is the test to decide whether, is it whether a whether something is a computer or not? Essentially, it's a test that is, uh, to discern whether an AI yeah. is human. It's yeah. to, to, to be, to determine whether a robot is human or not. Yeah, so not, not, obviously human. nothing's ever beaten the Turing test. Because it's a fucking robot. Have you ever seen the film um, Ex Machina though? Yes, I have. Was... So they talk about the Turing test and that. They do. And the whole idea is this this guy gets brought in and he's essentially doing the Turing test yes. on an AI robot person. But the whole thing... Spoiler alert. You've already seen it. I know I have, so I don't know why. But the, um, the, the waitress... <laughs> is actually a robot the whole time yeah and that is the Turing test because you don't know and I think that is very cool exactly um, it's, it's actually a very good film mm. yeah it blew my mind I watched it and I was um, in awe mm. I was watching it like and she's tidy as well so that always helps yeah she paid the, uh, the new Lara Croft did you know oh really yeah what in the games no in, in the, the films. films oh really in the films 
I don't cool. know who plays her in the games. Do you remember um, jumping over the butler and locking him in the freezer? Well, obviously, you're not going to do anything else in Lara Croft. I don't yeah, think I, I ever. <laughs> I don't think I ever got past that stage in Lara Croft. <laughs> you know, just you spent yeah. all your hours just locking him in. Like the entire time, it was that, and it was doing like you know the, the training calls. I do remember actually. Yeah. Yeah. So like the entire time I was playing Lara Croft with no memory card, obviously. So you always have to start from the start. Because that's the enjoyment of it. Because that's the enjoyment <laughs> you of get it. to lock him in again. Exactly. That's what it was. And like I remember, because we we had no memory card. Co- me and Robert had no vodka. El Vodi. El El Vodka. Lads. Boom. Ooh, that's a good click. I thought I thought it was quite good as well. It was actually my face. It was uh, clicking into oh, a right. position of which I like. You didn't hear the <laughs> no no no. To click yourself in. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So the the other one was a uh, GTA three. Funny enough, um, we had no memory card, so every time me and my bros uh, kind of got basically got home, it was weird. So we got home from school and we'd argue and fight, and like there'd be a punch up and whatever else over who was playing PlayStation. Yeah, and my dad would always win, <laughs> <laughs> and it was like who was playing GTA 3. So, you know, you do the cheats and whatever else, but I never completed Grand Theft Auto 3, even though I played it every day of my life for about two years. Really? Yeah, never completed it. Did you ever play... To be fair, I don't think I've ever completed Grand Theft Auto. Do you remember Even any... like GTA 5. Do you remember any cheats? Oh, that's, that's yeah. shocking, genuinely. You never completed GTA 5? No, I haven't, no. Do you still have it downloaded on your Xbox? Yeah. You should. It's good. Well, ending I, it, ending I got. Very good. I got like basically. I oh know shit. I know. I completed it on Xbox 360. I did on GTA 5. Um, yeah, no. I, I actually completed it on Xbox 360. That's fair play. I did the same. Yeah. Yeah. I. Uh, I Who did you choose? Um, yeah, because it comes to it, and you either choose between one or the other, or choose neither of them and be like, fuck it. It was three of them, wasn't it? You choose one. You choose one of the three. No, because you're playing as Franklin, and you have to choose between Trevor or Michael. Oh, the, yeah, no. Yeah, and then you have to choose between either one of those two, or you say fuck it, I'm not going to choose between either of them, and we're going to fight you. Yeah. I did that because I realised it's a video game, and if they give you the option of you can fight your way out of it, it's a video game, so you're going to do that because you're going to win. You're not going to not do it. Yeah. Because I've played the odd game. I know how these things work. You know how it goes. I um, I killed both of them. You're wrong. Yeah, I got a lot of money though, so... In nonce. That was something. <laughs> nonce. Yeah, well, you never played the game again. Nonce. <laughs> You're a nonce. nonce. That's it. You like fucking kids because you killed both of the adults. Oh, I'm just saying what it is. Which means that you don't like adults, therefore you like fucking you like kids. kids. And you like Jesus, fucking Joe. Them. I didn't even finish talking to you about... The game, the Turing Test. No, the Turing Test, yeah. Please, continue. So, um, did you ever play Portal or Portal 2? Yeah. Steve it's, Merchant. It's a very, very incredible game. Portal 2 is one of my favourite games Best ever. commentary ever. Without a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Very well made. Turing Test is very, very much like um, Portal in the sense of how the game plays. But you don't have a Portal gun. You have a gun which takes energy from these little things and can give it to other little modules to make certain things work. Okay. It's a puzzle solving game. Yeah. And you go room by room and um, the whole the whole thing is you're on the planet of the moon Europa. Oh. Off Saturn. Europa. Or uh, Saturn or Jupiter. One of the two. Jupiter. I think it might be Jupiter. It is Jupiter. Um, and there's you have to go through all these puzzles that have been set out by people that have been sent down there because you're on a space station you've been awoken from your cryo sleep because uh, there's been a distress signal from the people that are working down there you go down there you sh- you go through all these puzzles that they've laid out and there's an AI that's going with you throughout the whole thing and you're slowly learning that the AI is evil so uh, sorry I, I was listening to the whole time you're on your floor just, and I can understand because I was just checking that um, Europa was actually a moon of Jupiter it's because a moon of something. No, it's, it's, it's Jupiter. It's actually the uh, smallest of the four Galilean moons. Galilean. Doesn't Jupiter have like 12 moons or something? Or is that Saturn? I think Saturn has a lot. How many moons does Jupiter have? Okay. 
Because Mars has like a stupid amount as well. So yeah, you're like a sleeping ship. Yeah, and then there's this stress signal from uh, Europa. 27, you guys. Yeah? Is yeah. Europa one of them? Yeah, I established that straight away. I was just making sure that you knew. You bitch. Have you ever seen the film 2010? Uh, the, the year we made contact. No, I think I have. Have you ever seen 2001, A Space Odyssey? Yes. So it's the sequel from that. They go to Europa. Oh, really? Very good film. Not as good as the first one, 2001, blew my mind. Good shit. It's actually a really good film. And even like, what's weird is like, U- is it UFOlog- UFOlogists, are they called? Something like that? I've never heard Uf- that. Basically, people who research UFOs. I, I get it, but I've never yeah. heard that. They, they call Sound themselves like UFOlogists and shit. Um, yeah, they, they uh, basically quote um, Space Odyssey as being like one of the top films um, for that sort of shit. I don't, I don't know how true that is. I've just heard that a few times. Um, I watch it still now and it blows my mind the special effects. The fact that it was done in the late 60s. Yeah, it's it weird. Crazy. Yeah. Crazy. I watched it with my like old for man. such an old film. Mm, it's mad. Like, oh, but... Oh god, it tastes like oh coleslaw, chili, and garlic bread. Yeah, yeah I can't believe it. Because that is concoction. Whoa, whoa! Don't you start coleslaw is top, mate. I don't like coleslaw. How can you not like coleslaw? Oh, I've never liked it. I've never liked it. I never will. I just can't look at you right now. But you are. But now you're not because you realise really just farted. Is it bad? It's not very bad. Is it thick? Is it crunchy? A little bit thick. Not very crunchy. No, just, just a little bit. It felt like I've cracked a piece of asparagus. You what? You I've cracked a piece of, a piece a, of an asparagus. asparagus tip. You just went, and it's like the vapor. Mm-hmm. Um, the vapor, the smell, the sound, <laughs> the taste, all of it, top to bottom. The eardrums. Ah! What? I've seen a video of Stephen with shaved hair. What? Is he actually just seriously? Stevie sucked it. He fucking done it. No, that's got to be a wig. There is no way he actually went big. Joe, what the fuck? That's what, oh, oh my god. He's. <gasps> oh my god, he's actually big. He's actually big it. <laughs> oh, look how depressed he is. I'm literally we're going for the same. Oh my god. Oh my word. I just can't. I just. I can't believe that they actually got Philip DeFranco to shave his fucking head. It's impressive. Like, like fair play to Steve. I mean... I can't believe... What I, did he say? It was like 20,000 retweets or something. The right shock there. of my... Like, when I first saw it, the shock was just like... God. I thought it was a wig, but it's just... It's just not. Oh, my God. Look at him there, he looks like a fucking villain. He looks like a fucking egg. Oh my god, turn it sideways. Turn it sideways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so for those six people who are listening to this, um, Stephen, Oh shit, we're recording again. We're recording, we've been recording for fucking ages, dude. We're just like three minutes of recording. Well, the whole Stephen Subtick thing. The whole Stephen Subtick thing just been recorded. Yeah, I didn't even know. Oh, I can cut the whole thing. Clock emoji. I don't know. Joe, so you're uh, you're looking quite full there, sir. Full in what capacity? Full in the capacity that you haven't drunk enough. I've got to find the lightning bolt emoji. So you gonna get the power hour tattoo? I don't know. Like that's thing. I I'd, I'd get a power hour tattoo. Happy to get the lightning bolt clock, but I don't have any tattoos. Me neither. I don't have any tattoos. But that's that's one that I want. It's a genuine thing where I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm if I'm Joe Nappet, I'm sitting there thinking, yeah. If I'm Joe Nappet, if I was someone else, I mean, you know. Oh, this is strong. Probably mate, it's that strong. Smell that. <laughs> Have a sip. I dare you. Oh my god. This is oh fucking hell. Podcast. Wow, what a name. We really live it. Oh, guys, we're doing it. So funny. We're doing it big. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here getting more and more drunk, and it's just... It's so great. I love it. Yeah. 
bit of SoCo and Coke with vodka after five pints. A bit of this, a bit of that. Five pints, we've had a vodka Coke already. Mm. Shit. <laughs> um, so, Joe, I've got to ask. Yeah. We've got to get political. Okay. Catalonia. Do you think they're doing the right thing? I do. You do, yeah? Mm. Okay. I think any country, if it wants their freedom, I, I say that, this is a bit weird saying that because it's not as if they're not free, but any country that wants their independence, they should have it. They don't want to be under the rule of Spain. They want to be their own entity. Fair play to them. That's good. What about you? What do you think? No, I, I completely agree. I mean, if you've got a majority of uh, of Catalonians saying, yeah, crack on, I want to be me, yeah, then, you know, you're not going to say no to it, are you, you know? And at the end of the day, you're right. When you're right, you're right. When you're, you're right. right, when you're wrong, I'll let you know, but when you're right, I'll let you know. When you're right, you're right, you're right. When you're wrong, you're just wrong. You're just wrong. But you're right. Shaka wrong. Shaka wrong. Um, just on that note as well do you think there's going to be a civil war yeah 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 genuine I do like proper guns blazing Catalonia versus Spain and then I don't the know UN if proper guns blazing in. but I feel like there will be some violence there's going to be some violence without a doubt there's going to be some violence someone said to me earlier like um there's a load of container ships off the coast of um, Barcelona, just full of Contain- Spanish, like containers, like container ships. Not not full, full of, of containers, but full of containers, full in like containing Spanish con- army containers with people with, with, with the containment of the contain with uh, the containment of the the American Empire during the Vietnam War. Containing contain- rollback, <laughs> just naming all the policies. Uh, I know, I know it. I know it. Basically, there's a load of American ships um, containing communism within Spain. There isn't any, but just in case, because yeah. that's America. America. Woo. Represent. Um, no. Uh, yeah. Apparently, there's a load of like some, someone said to me. It's probably just fucking conspiracy theory bullshit. But as someone said to me, there's loads of can can I can't even fucking say it now. Conspiracy. Thinking about containment. Containment. <laughs> Rome, yeah, Rome so back. Spain's invading Vietnam. Uh, Fair. 40 years too late. <laughs> you know. You just got to roll with it. Ho Chi Minh's not about. Fuck me. 53 years too late. A little bit too late, yeah. Mm. But, you know. History, bro. Um, but yeah, so right, Spain's I, I got a load of troops in. Speaking of history, um, we're speaking of Vietnam. Shipping ships. They've got a lot of troops in shipments. Yeah. Um, Ready to go. Boom. So. The Vietnam War, Yeah. do you feel that at the time of the Paris Peace Accords, the Americans won? No. Why? America in no way, shape or form won the Vietnam War. Yeah, no, but not taking into, accord, uh, into account the fall of uh, Saigon, Paris Peace Accords. No. Why? Because they gained... Right. When the US jumped in, so the French fucked off, it was Vietnam. Then the communists went, yeah, fuck you guys, you know, we're in the north, you're in the south, whatever, we're going to kill you all. And you know, like the Viet Cong, that shit. When they started pushing south, the US jumped in. Yeah. How many people died? US troops? A lot. Yeah. Thousands. Thousands okay. and thousands and thousands of US troops died. Defending what was effectively a fucking jungle swamp. Like, meant nothing. Okay, okay, but... Hang on, this is not hindsight. This is at the very time of the Paris Peace Accords. Well, that's fair. They have lost thousands of troops. Okay? Thousands of people that have been conscripted as well, I might add. Mm. That have been drafted. The draft! The, the goddamn draft! Draft day. Yeah, draft day. Woohoo! High school, draft day. Word up, bro. And they died for literally no fucking reason whatsoever. There was no need for the US to be there. 
in any way, shape, or form. Other than the fact that they had a policy of containment that was bullshit anyway. But the thing is, oh, okay, go, go, go. The, the, the whole policy of containment was bullshit anyway, because there was no need to do it. Can I interject? Yeah, of course you can. You don't know that. In hindsight, it's easy to say that it was bullshit policy. But at the time, imagine if America let Vietnam fall without even putting up a fight. What does that say to the rest of the countries in Southeast Asia? That America aren't going to put up a fight if communism tries to take over your country. World War One. Right. Going back a little bit. Yeah. The US only jumped in because we begged them. The US only jump in when they realise, shit, if we don't do anything, it's going to affect us. Yeah. It's fair. So why do you think they jumped in at Vietnam? It was never going to affect them, though. That's the problem. They was it on would. a roll. They was on a roll from World War Two. World War Two. they came out of World War Two as a superpower. The rest of the world, the rest of Europe, everywhere else, owed them. Listen. They didn't owe anyone. They was they wasn't in debt to anyone. I, Everyone was in debt to them. I agree with you in the sense that America was like, yeah, you know what, we're on a roll. We can smash whatever. But I feel that they got involved in Vietnam because they were like, if we don't do this, then it's going to carry on. And it, we need to set an example. And I feel like they did it. From the Paris Peace Accords, I feel like when you look at their aims, what they set out to achieve from Vietnam, they achieved every single one of their, game, uh, their goals. But they didn't because they lost Vietnam. In hindsight, yeah. But at the time, which is what I asked, at the time of the Paris Peace Accord, yes. They enough. achieved everything they set out to achieve. They achieved peace in Vietnam. But, you know, a couple of years down the line, things didn't go so well. But at the time, it was declared Victory in Vietnam Day, DVD. DVD, I know. In, a, in the White House, but... Hubris, that's what that is. Yeah. Absolute hubris. But the thing is, like, even if, like, look, look at what, ig- ignoring the Paris Peace Accords, I know your whole question is about the Paris Peace Accords, but just ignore it, ignore everything that happened, just look at the statistics. The US jumped into Vietnam. They did. I'm not, I'm not going to say invaded, because that's not strictly true. They came in to help Vietnam. They, came, they basically came in to help the country Vietnam against the North the, the North which was the rebels of Vietnam mm. right. Empire versus Commun- rebels communist force the communist force the Viet Cong mm. um, Viet Minh the Viet Minh oh yeah shit good point um, so anyway the US jumped in okay and then this was the 60s okay back in the 60s there weren't too many human rights let's be fair was that a bit harsh yeah. Was that last sip a little bit? It was a little bit full on. A little bit deep. Oh. I'm getting through it. Oh, boy. Hero. Man after my own heart. Um, so there, there was there was a little bit, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, you know, and then they then they, they just got fucking ridiculous. Mm. They was napalm villages. They was using Agent Orange on vast, vast sections of forest. Well, I spoke to Ross about this. I said, um, he, we were talking about the Vietnam documentary. BBC I said wait till you get to Operation uh, Rolling Thunder Rolling Thunder that's what it's called Operation Linebacker 1 Operation Linebacker 2 which was the main one which brought the Vietnamese to the negotiating table Linebacker 2 was horrendous called the Christmas bombings Hmm. because it took place over Christmas for two weeks and um, it's just horrific what they done it was full on full on every night every night that's the thing it it was a point where they wasn't even waging war this sounds so fucking stupid, but it got to the point where they wasn't even waging war on the people. They was waging war on the country. Mm. They was waging war on the literal environment. The thing is, their aims like, were like military, uh, military outposts, military bases, etc. But yeah, they they laid waste to so much else. Yeah, but um, because they just didn't know. I sp- I spoke to Ross about the uh, the footage that you see of the the um, the the kid. To make you go running down the street. Yeah. Well, and, like uh, her just been entire napalmed. town. Yeah. And like skins hanging off her body. Yeah. It's full on. Like it's, it's fucking horrific. Gruesome war. It's just interesting. It's so interesting. Not that particular part of it, mind you. But it is. 
And you know what? What? It's all for fucking nothing. It's all for fun. It's all for fun. It's all for laughs. It's all shits and gigs, mate. It's all for banter. Shits and gigs. Do you want a Cronenberg? No, I might dip soon, I'm not going to lie. Oh, you're a wank. Oh, I mean, I've got a, I've been up since R6. Oh, R5. Five. five? No, same thing. What time have you been up since? Today? Mm. About quarter past eight. Yeah, it's alright for some, isn't it? No, it's not, Joe. Because I didn't go to bed until two. I didn't go to bed till one. You muggy mug. Muggy cat. You muggy mug. I, I've been to bed since... Early doors? Since bedtime. Since bed, I haven't been to bed since I went to bed. Do you remember the last time that I went to bed? No, neither do I because it was bedtime. Do you remember the last time I went to bed? Yesterday. Yesterday. How was that? Do you remember? Yeah, it was alright. It was bedtime. I, did, I actually had a good dream and I remembered it. Well, I dreamt that I was in a caravan park with my dad and my brothers. Wow. It was good. I mean, it, it sounds really, really... You laughed, but it was good. We, we, it, it was like we were on a holiday because there was a lot of bars about and there was a lot of restaurants, but we were at a caravan. Wow. Where, where was the caravan? That's the real question. Canva Sands. Canva Sands. Oh, oh my Sands. goodness. <laughs> Canva Sands. It's good. I mean, as far as holiday camps go... It's a good place. That's, a, that's, that's down Top there. ten. Where's better? What, Cam Sands? Yeah. Lays down. I thought you were going to say uh, Mersey. Mersey? Oh, Mersey's a pretty decent. Oh, West, West Mersey. West Mersey is very nice. And I actually, I went there with my dad. Pretty. You know, not long after we went down there. Not this most recent time, but the time before. Uh, I think the week after, me and my dad went down there. Because uh, we were both out of a job at the time. <laughs> and uh, Peasant people. Yeah. We went down continue. there. <laughs> yeah, but we went down there just for the drive. Had a pint down there. Yeah. Went for a coffee. Nice. It's nice. Went down the seafood. There's a, there's a really nice seafood restaurant in West Mersey. Um, you ever been there? No. no it's, how do uh, you know? I've uh, I've I've heard rumours. No, I've I've been twice. It's actually really really really. You're a nice. liar. Oh, you're a liar. Because you'd remember off the no. top of your head. If you'd no. Been I no. <laughs> um, I think it's called like the Oyster Hut or something like that. Um, obviously they have like. That's in Burnham, isn't it? No, it's Oyster, Oyster Shack. Smack. Oyster Smack. That's the one. Um, no, but basically they, they do. Uh, they do obviously they do oysters, but they're like Mers- Mersey oysters. Uh, apparently famous across the world. Did not know that. Um, they're quite a big deal. And. You have those, and then they do like rock oysters, which are like normal oysters, which are actually really nice. But um, Mersey oysters, if you go anywhere else in the world, you pay an extortionate amount. Um, but in Mersey, they're just cheap as fuck. And they taste like absolute shit. Fun Fair. fact for you. They taste like, just you like them because it's just eating like a I don't bar. like oysters. Imagine like a bar of salt. I don't like them. You know what I like? Seafood, calamari. Fuck calamari, man. Anything, anything squid related is just all you're doing is just eating a tire. Lovely. You're eat, it's lovely. Just eating rubber. That's all it is. It's, just, mm. it's tasteless Eraser. shit. And I know people are gonna argue with me and they're gonna say no. It's not eating tasteless shit. It's it's eating like you know food. But no, there's no flavour to it. No. Doesn't matter where you go. You go to the best restaurant in the world and you eat calamari and guess what it tastes like? Calamari. It tastes like fucking calamari. I've had o- which is rubber. I've had octopus with the suckers on. I've had octopus with the suckers on. It's very good. It is really good. It's quite surprising. Yeah. Again, quite rubbery. Yeah, but quite nice. Because there's, there's a lot of flavour in it. It's quite meaty. I say it's quite meaty. It is just meat. There is nothing but muscle there. Um, I mean... As far as podcasts go, it's been a good one. It's been a good one. Bias so, is a good one. It's our first one. You know, I feel um, considering we spoke about a lot of the shit that we had to speak about early before, before we podcast, started filming. We started. We we done three hours of just chatting. I feel shit this is a, this is we, a lesson. 
to be learned. A lesson to be learned. We should save our shit chatting for the podcast. Yeah, I feel in the future we should go down the pub for one or two to get us... Get us lubricated. Get us lubricated and then come straight back and then straight filming. We shouldn't talk while we're down the pub. Just sit there quietly. Yeah. Sit. <laughs> okay. Put a straw in it. Just having a good time. Yeah. Because I feel as soon as we get here, we'll let it all out. Yeah. There's we'll just lot. go for it. Or alternatively, we can just, you know, go down there with the mic. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think... I, I think, think we could do that. I think that's probably a better idea. Mm. Take some mics downstairs. Downstairs. <laughs> downstairs <laughs> to the pub. Pop. Yeah, I don't know if I'm a pub, but if I did... I'll be going downstairs. I'll be down there. Yeah. Me. Just there. rocking it. Just be like, what? Yeah, so uh, um, next time maybe we just uh, do it in the pub. Yeah, sounds good to me. Start after two pints and then... Uh, See what goes. Well, everything goes. Because everyone that, I feel that's where the, the the bulk of the conversations that we had. The bulk of the gold. I it's mean, right was. now, I'm tired of your presence. Yeah, fair play. And I, I mean, hope. I'm ready to go home and have a pizza. Yeah. I hope, I've, been, I've been, I've felt that way. I before. really hope you leave soon. I mean, I. I'll go now. I, I enjoy your face. Where have I put my jacket? Um, I just don't enjoy your presence. So, oh, oh look, the car keys. You should probably put those down and not drive home. Good, good shout from across the room. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, it's been fun. Yeah, it's been good. This yeah. has been podcast, podcast, we'll shit, podcast. We'll do it again. Pub, podcast, the podcast. Yeah. The, the pod pub pub pod that one pub with a bob no that whole thing yeah that'll, that'll, just, that'll chestnut that'll chestnut that we'll, chest nut. we'll, we'll do it again we will next weekend probably so um bye to the loo to, to the brew to the loo see you later have a nice one no Can't literally see you later oh oh you going yeah, alright oh, okay bye bye